Hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video I'm showing you guys how you can make this banner and logo super easily in Photopea with just a few steps so without further ado let's get started. Okay so the first thing you want to do is open Photopea of course and we're just going to click on new project for the size we're going to do 2560 by 423 but just know you'll have to change this towards the end um, to 2560 by 1440 this is just so it's easier to work with and uh, hit create. Now it's going to look like this and real quick i'll just show you what to do for the end just in case you skip it go up to image canvas size and just change that to 1440 and hit ok that's how you will do it at the end so what we're going to do first is change the color of the background so double click on that background layer go to color overlay and we're going to change it to a blue like this a light blue but you know a little down more and hit OK. You can change it to whatever color you want, by the way. You don't have to follow the colors I'm using, so just know that. Hit OK again. Now we're going to do is go down to our rectangle tool on the left, and we're going to draw a big rectangle right here, and then a little one right here, and then one down here. You can hold shift while you do that. OK. Now hold control and click on both of those layers you just made, right click and convert it to a smart object. So now it's one layer, hit control and J to duplicate it. So now there's two, hit control alt and T to free transform it. So now if you right click in that box, you can flip it horizontally and flip it vertically. So now it's mirrored and flipped. So what you can do now is use your arrow key to move it. But if you hold right arrow, it's kind of slow. So if you hold shift while you do that, it goes a lot faster. Let's just move that all the way over here. And you might be wondering how we get this perfectly even with the other one. What we're going to do is just hit that check mark for now and go to distances. Check that box. So now you can see there's 64 in between this and the outside. This one has 82. So let's try to match that 82. 81, 82. There you go. Now they are perfectly even. Now what we're going to do is hold control, convert both of those to a smart object. Double click on it. And we're going to add a color overlay and change that color to yellow. We're going to turn the opacity down to 16% over here so that it's not very visible. You can see we can turn off distances. Now we're done with that. So it's looking pretty cool. Now what we're going to do is add my text. So type in your name. So Canva is mine. I'm going to change the font up here to fork, F-O-R-K-U-E. I think that's how you say it. Maybe it's 4K or f I don't know. <laughs> Either way, this is what it is. I'm going to turn the size up to about 300. We'll see how that looks. And I'll do 270. Yeah, that's pretty good. So 270 works. Now what we're going to do is double click on our text to highlight it. Just highlight the first three letters or first whatever letters of yours. So like split it in half. And then I'm going to choose white up here. And then for the last three, I'm going to change the color to yellow. So it looks like this. Now what I'm going to do is go down to my rectangle tool and draw out a line below the text by just dragging my left click. Now I'm going to control J to duplicate it and use my arrow key and shift to move it up above this one. That looks pretty good. I'm going to, you know, hold control, click on both of them, convert it to a smart object. Now double click on that new layer, go to color overlay and it should be on yellow, which is what we want. And now we are done with that part. We're getting closer to being done with the banner. So now what you want to do is Google uh, whatever social media you use. Look up that logo. So I got Twitter logo. I'm just going to find a PNG one, bring it over. For some reason, it has a background on it. I don't know why, but I'll show you how to remove that. So here it is. Control Alt T is how you free transform. So just know that so you can resize it. I'm going to go to my magic wand over here on the left. 
it's the fourth one down. If you don't see it, right click on the fourth one down and it should be in this menu. I'm gonna click the black part and hit delete on my keyboard. Now I got rid of it. Now what I'm gonna do is double click on that logo layer, add a color overlay and leave it as yellow and hit okay. I'm gonna resize it to make it a little bit smaller. Looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna get my other logo. So I'm gonna use an Instagram logo free transform it. You can also free transform by going up to edit, free transform, magic wand. Okay. Control T again. I'm going to move it over to the Twitter one so I can get them like close to the same size. And now I'm going to move this one over on this side. All right, now I'm going to add a color overlay on it. Now we're ready to add our text next to it. So get your text tool, type in your name, control A to select all of it. And I'm just going to change it to white. And it's a little too big. So if you go to your move tool and then hit control alt T, you can resize the text, hold shift while you do it. So it doesn't do that. Okay, we got that. Now I'm going to control J to duplicate it and move it over to this side. And there you go. So that's the entire banner. Super easy. Now, some of you guys might not, you know, want to do that. So if you don't, here's another way you can do it. There's a website called placeit.net, which here you can get free templates. So if you go to their website, you can go to gaming and YouTube banners. You have a bunch of free banners that look really awesome that you can use and edit really easily. So let's just say you want to use this one. Make sure it has a free on it or you can pay for it for, I don't know, what is it? I think it's like $13. Let's see, 15 a month or you can use my link and get 15% off, which is well worth it because I've done it before and there are so many templates for like literally everything, intros, outros, logos, banners, like literally everything. So it's so worth the money. But let's just say you want to do it completely free, then look for the free tag and you can click on it. So let's go into here and you can edit it super easily. So you can see it has all the text on the left, super organized. So let's just say I want to change this to, I don't know, Cambit V8. <laughs> um, uh, daily uploads, even though I don't. Let's just imagine if I did, I would do that. Um, uh, subscribe. You know, you can change everything. Subscribe for more. You could do whatever you want. You can type in whatever you want. So you don't have to like follow what I'm doing. Um, but let's just say red's not your favorite color. Let's say green is. So I'm just going to change everything to green because green's cool. So change it to green. On the right side, you have all your layers. So for the accents, let's just turn that to green. Let's change them all to green because green is the best color ever. Not really, but for this tutorial or whatever. All right, so that looks super cool. Now let's say you don't like this little icon here. You can go here and expand it and you have access to tons of different like mascot logos, which are really cool. Like this one looks pretty sick. Oh, wait, you have, to, you have to buy that one. So look for the free ones. The free ones don't have the uh, premium on it, which there's still tons that you don't have to pay for. So let's just find one. This one looks cool. So we'll click on that and it blends in with the background. So we'll choose a different one. We'll choose this one. This one looks pretty cool. So we go with that one. Now collapse it so you can see the other options. For the arrow, let's just change it to like this. That's looking good. And you could also move everything on your own. So you don't have to just follow this. It's just making it easier for you if you don't want to. You can rearrange everything to your liking, which is super cool and handy. You move it around like that. You can even rotate it, all that fun stuff. Now you can even change this part behind it. So yeah, and then let's just say you're done. Go up to free download, click on free download. You'll just want to sign up and then it should let you download it. 
but it's worth signing up because there's a ton of other options. So you can see there's all these other things you can do. Basically everything a graphic designer needs. You got Twitch templates, everything. So it's definitely worth signing up to get the free ones at least, or you could pay for it like I did and you get access to everything, which is well worth the money. Now let's change the banner to the right size. So go up to image, canvas size, change the height to 1440, hit okay. Now go up to file, export as, PNG or JPEG, your choice. Now what you can do is you can expand this background. Just, you know, add another layer right here. Move that below the background, change it to the blue or whatever you'd leave it. So on TVs, they'll see that red part. You could even just change it to match this blue like that. So that's what they'll see. So I recommend doing that before exporting. Don't leave it like checkboardy. So what we're going to do for the logo is just go up to image, canvas size and change it to 800 by 800. Hit OK. And now unhide that new shape you just made or if you haven't made it yet, I'll show you what to do. So just delete that background. We're just gonna get the rectangle tool and draw a new one that's blue. And there you go. So you can, you know, convert all those to smart objects so you can move it all around if you wish. But just center that and it looks great. Now you can just export it as a PNG super easily. So you got two in one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.